Well, hello, Move Easy Movers. Welcome to Move Easy Yoga with Kathy. Today, as uh, the day we're recording is May 28th, 2022. It's whatever day you're watching this on YouTube. We're going to go ahead and start the regular way with uh, the lower back and traction, legs on a chair. We're going to be in this position for seven minutes. You want to make sure that your hips and your knees, if possible, are at 90 degrees. Just breathe normally. Bring your breath into the room with you. And we will do this for seven minutes, like I said. So let me set my timer. Your arms can be at your sides. They can be in cactus, they can be out, whatever is comfortable for you. Diana, we're doing our uh, seven minute static rest.
Okay, seven minutes are up. Stay where you are and slowly roll your head to the right and to the left. Loosen up your neck a little. We'll do this two or three times. Now bring yourself back to center. And uh, we're gonna do something a little new. Let's loosen our jaw a little bit. So just move your jaw around slowly maybe back and forth, open and shut. Now, purse your lips like you're kissing the ceiling. And let's move our lips around in a clockwise circle. couple of times. Now go the other way. Now move them to the right and to the left. And up and down. Kind of loosens your jaw up a little bit. My glasses are fogging up. Okay. Now, um, <clears throat> go ahead and put whatever you want behind your head. We're going to stretch our occipital ridge. I like putting the ball back there. And what we're going to do is just press the back of our neck towards the floor and hold it. And then release and then press. And release, press. And release one last time. Press. And release. Okay, good. Now you can put whatever you like behind your head again. We're going to do um, a breathing exercise called extended breathing. So basically that's just when you inhale, you count your inhale like one, two, three, four. And then when you exhale, you try to make it longer. One way to help you do that is to purse your lips when you exhale. So this is something that is very individual because everybody's different. So at your own pace, go ahead and inhale. And then exhale, just try to make it longer, preferably twice as long. We'll do this three or four times. Now finish up one last time.
All right, good. Now we're gonna do the vagus nerve reset. So we're all familiar with that. You keep your head stationary and you just move your eyeballs to one side or the other. All I'm gonna start on my right. So just thinking about it makes one and yawn. Ah. So um, head is stationary, eyeballs only to the right. Wait for a sigh, a swallow, a gulp, or a yawn. One comes right away. Ooh. Mm. And then straight ahead. And then you move your eyeballs only to the left. Wait for a sigh, swallow, gulp, or yawn. We're activating the vagus nerve, which goes down each side of the skull. Oh, I didn't sense it today. Wow. So do this two more times on either side without my cueing. You finish up and go ahead and push your chair away. We are going to need it later, but for right now, just get it out of the way. So we're going to do vagus nerve reset. So we're going to start with the classic. So feet are Flexed, heels on the ground, arms up above your shoulders like you're hugging a tree. And then you flip your hands so your palms are facing the ceiling. Now the palms are facing upward and make sure your shoulders are relaxed towards the ground. Mine tend to go up. So make sure your shoulders are relaxed towards the ground, resting on the ground. And we're going to take three breaths. And on the last breath, we're going to exhale everything out of our lungs. And then I'll count to 15. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale. Exhale everything out of your lungs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Inhale, arms come down. Exhale, feet come down. If you need to come down sooner, please do. Don't force yourself to step there if you can't do it. We're gonna do this one more time in this position. So feet flexed. <coughs> Excuse me, frog in my throat. Arms up, hug that tree. Shoulders relaxed against the floor. Flip your hands so they're facing the ceiling. Make sure you have that round with your arms. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale everything out of your lungs. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good. Come down. Inhale. Exhale. Pardon me. I need a drink of water real quick. I got this frog in my throat. Morning frog. Okay. Now we're going to do one more position with the hyperpressive, and that's the extended. So extend your feet, extend your legs, and flex your feet. Right foot over left foot. And with your hands, if your right foot's over your left, your right left hand is over your right. Relax back. And again, we're going to take three breaths. And then on the third breath, we'll exhale all the air out and count to 15. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale, all the way out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Take that breath. Come back down with your arms. We're going to switch our feet. <clears throat> so left over right. And then our arms are right over left, up above your head. Three breaths, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale all the way out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and stay here for just a minute. We're going to do windshield wipers. So your feet are going to be flat on the floor, about shoulder width apart. And let's just start with a gentle windshield wiper, not all the way. We're just warming up. So maybe go halfway, just till you feel that first tug, that first twist. Like I said, we're just going to warm up here for a minute. Just back and forth slowly. Loosen up those hips a little. Now, you can use either a brick or you can use your sponge ball, whichever you choose, between your knees, feet on the floor. Now do the windshield wipers and go a little further this time. like almost to the floor, but not quite. Your opposite hip, if you'll notice, will come up a little bit, that's okay. So 
So we're pressing the ball or the brick between our knees. We're pressing on it as we go back and forth. All righty, now you can take that away. Now we're gonna do wide windshield wipers. So your feet are pretty much as wide as the mat. And um, try to, as you do this, try to do move just one leg at a time. For example, your left leg is straight up. Just move the right leg down and then right leg comes up. Left leg comes down just as far as you can. You may not make it all the way to the floor. I don't. You may only make it to here. That's fine. Just one leg at a time, moving slowly. Remember your breath. Moving slowly trains our brain for better movement. I always want to go faster. I need to remind myself to slow it down. Just a couple more here. One more. Okay, good job, good job. Let's bring ourselves up to seated. Best way to do that would be to roll and then push, <clears throat> excuse me. Cross-legged is preferred um, for this type of movement. We're gonna do the side bend with the lat stretch and get my timer out. So we'll start on the right side. Slide your hand along the mat. The other arm comes up and over. Make sure both your sits bones are still on the ground. We're gonna hold this position for 40 seconds. Well. We'll hold this position for 20 seconds and then we'll move our arm down. So both sits bones, both hip bones are still on the floor. Just go as far as you can. Now lower your arm, your upper arm, so it's parallel to the floor. You'll feel a stretch under your arm and down your back. A different stretch. All right, arm up, torso up, other side. So left arm goes along the mat, right arm goes up and over, just as far as you can, keeping both sits bones on the floor. One side is always different than the other. I'm always more flexible on the left. I don't know why. I'm watching the clock. Okay, now lower your arm till it's parallel to the floor. Feel that different stretch down your underarm, down your back. Feels good. Okay, arm up, torso up, good job. And we're gonna do what comes next, the spine twist. So let's go ahead and change our legs just for the smell of it. Okay, so left hand on right knee, 
Your right arm goes behind you, spider fingers, just the tips of your fingers. And we are rotating our upper torso as far as we can towards the right. If you only go a little bit, that's good. Just rotate your upper torso to, to the right. We're gonna hold this for 40 seconds. Make sure your back is straight. Straight up. Now you can move your head from left to right. You can move your ribs from left to right. I don't recommend doing both at the same time, but you can do one and then the other. Or you can just stay stationary if that feels good. You should feel a rotation in your spine. Here we are. Slowly come back to forward. We'll do this on the other side. So right hand on left knee, left arm is behind you, spider fingers, tips only. Rotate, <clears throat> excuse me, rotate your spine as far as you can comfortably. Don't, don't push. Don't strain, no strain, no strain, no pain. And again, we have the options with the head. We can move it back and forth. If you wanna loosen up your neck, you can do your rib cage back and forth, whatever feels good for you, or you can be stationary. That's good too. We have options, always have options. There we go. Come back to forward. Now, the third thing we're gonna do in this particular triplet is a revolving torso. Now, Parvin, I know you have trouble coming down to the knee. You have to do it in a chair, but if we're just going in a circle, a slow circle, that will also help loosen up our hips a little, maybe our spine a little. So we're just kind of circling. Might wanna change direction a little bit. Your hands can be wherever they're comfortable. You can go as deeply or as narrowly, narrowly is that word, huh, as you want, whatever is comfortable. The idea is to just, just move. Movement is medicine. Swing back and forth is good. Try to keep your back straight. Don't slouch. Slouching is not recommended. You can do this while you're watching TV. Just kind of loosen up your, your hips a little bit, even in a chair. Okay, that's the end of that. Now, um, we're gonna be working on our feet. So we're going to be sitting in a chair. So let me give me just a minute to set up. You wanna sit in a chair and you wanna be able to touch the floor. So if you have short legs like I do, you might want something under your feet. That's up to you. Okay, maybe I'll move back just a little so you can see me. Small space here.
I need a producer to do all this stuff <laughs> behind the camera. <laughs> okay, so we are sitting in the chair in good posture. So our feet, our legs are parallel to the ground. The thighs are parallel to the ground. The feet are flat. Back is straight, shoulders over hips. So what we're gonna start on the right, so pull your right leg up and put it on your left knee. And we're gonna start with an ankle rotation. So just slowly rotate your ankle clockwise. That in itself feels really good. Just loosening it up. Now go the other direction. Okay. Now go ahead and point and flex your foot. Point and flex. Point and flex. That in itself exercises your calf and your ankle. Okay, now we're gonna work on our toes. So with each toe, we're going to kind of rotate it, sort of like you're stirring with it. Kind of twist it around. You might hear your knuckle crack, I just did. That's great. And sort of just kind of loosen the toe up. Do this with every one of your toes, starting with the big toe, or you can start with your little toe. But basically we're just loosening the toes. Twirl them around. Get to know your toes. So many people don't pay attention to their feet and our feet are so precious. And move on to your next toe. So just kind of move it around. One way and then the other. And then move on to the next one. I'm holding my other toes back while I work with it. Whatever works for you. And one more toe. The closer I get to my pinky toe, the less movement there seems to be. And then pinky toe. But you know, we depend on our feet so much, especially if we do a lot of walking, Via. Um, and I've been getting to do a lot of walk, a lot more walking now that the weather is better. So I just love pampering my feet. Now, the last thing we're gonna do is hold the big toe and the little toe apart from each other and just kind of stretch them. Don't hurt yourself, but just kind of pull them apart. I don't know if you can see this, but just the pinky toe and the big toe, just pull them apart a little bit, let them spread. It's good for them to do that. Some air between those toes. Okay. So go ahead and replace that foot. Notice how one foot might feel differently than the other at this point. My right foot feels like there's some circulation going around there. So let's take our left leg up and then over. Don't just cross it over. Always bring it up as far as you can before you rest it on your knee. So we're gonna start with ankle rotation.
I do this while I'm watching TV. I love doing this while I'm watching TV. Or reading. We'll do it while I'm reading. One way and then the other. Oops, I was going that way. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to flex and then point. Flex and point. This toe's a little stiffer, or this foot's a little stiffer than my right foot. I can tell that. Flex and point. Okay, let's work on our toes now. So big toe, we're just kind of rotating it around. Maybe twisting it a little. Don't hurt yourself. But just get to know your feet. It's always a good thing. I'm going to move on to the next toe. And the next toe. One thing I forgot to do on the other foot is do the toe handshake. We're going to do that on this side. And then next to the pinky toe. And the pinky toe. Your toes really love this. They really do. It makes good for you. Okay. Now let's do the toe handshake. So we're going to put our fingers between our toes. Push them down as much as we can. And just shake hands with our, with our foot. Hi, foot. Also, if you have those toe separators that Via was talking about, those are really good for you. Yeah, anything that separates your toes are very good. All right. Now, one last thing. We're going to take the big toe and the pinky toe and just pull them apart gently. Pull them apart from the rest of the foot so the rest of the toes separate. So often they're caught in shoes and they're squished together. So there we go. All right. So let's just enjoy our feet for just a minute. Let's see how they feel. I feel energized. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to do um, some back bends at the wall. So again, I have to do some production work here, so bear with me. Okay. So the first thing we do is our back is against the wall, our arms go up and palms on the wall if you can. We're going to hold this for 40 seconds. My right shoulder is still a little tight, so I can't really do it with my right arm. But if you notice my left arm, palm is on the wall. This is a bone building pose. Okay. 
Okay. Come out of that. I just noticed these were not even. <laughs> and we're going to do the spine twist at the wall. So we stand with our side at the wall. Foot closest to the wall in front, other foot in back, elbows at our waist, palms up, and then we rotate towards the wall, palms on the wall. We'll hold this for 40 seconds. Okay, slowly come out of this. We'll do the other side. Foot forward, foot back, elbows at waist, arms up, rotate spine. This is another bone building pose. You can move your head back and forth if you like. You want to add on a little neck workout. Okay. Here we go. Oh, one, th one more thing we're going to do is get a brick, place it by the wall, or whatever you want to hang on to. We're going to put one foot on the brick to give us some height, and just gently swing our other leg. We're loosening up the hip. You can also do this. I do this sometimes when I'm walking. I'll stand on a curb, hold on to a tree or a signpost, and just kind of work my hip out. Okay, now we'll do the other side. So we have to be balanced, you know. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to go ahead and hit the mat again. So hold on. Have to adjust. Okay. So we're going to do some core work. We all love this. We're going to do the um, the tabletop and then leg extension. Now there are options to this. You can do one leg at a time. You can do instead of going up and then out, you can just go up. Four, one leg at a time up. Four, you can just go out like this. That's up to you. But we're going to do 10 of these. We go to tabletop and then extension. 
cover, don't touch. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. We're on the downhill now. <laughs> Seven, eight, almost there, nine, one more, ten. All right, good job. Give it a rest for just a second. I've got one more core, core thing to do. And that's um, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're just going to extend and hold. Now, if you can't do that, that's fine. You can do one leg or you can just raise your legs and hold. It's up to you. So we're going to extend our legs out two or three inches above and hold for the count of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Drop. Okay, that was good. We're done with that. We're gonna do uh, rollover. We're gonna do our back extensions. So with our back extensions, we are prone. I'll take my glasses off. Face down on the mat. Now, what we'll be doing is lifting our head and shoulders and arms. If you find this difficult, that's fine. You can just lift your head, or excuse me, not your head, but your shoulders and arms. And if you can't too high and you feel it in your lower back, lower down. So we are prone on the mat. We're going to hold for 40 seconds. Actually, we're going to hold for less than that. Uh, hold on here. OK, so face down on the mat. Inhale, exhale, come up. We're holding this for 20 seconds. Palms are to the ceiling. Uh, your neck is extended. You're facing the ground. Inhale, come down. All right. Now the next one we're gonna do is airplane, where we come up and then go out into an airplane and then come back down. So inhale, come up. Inhale, exhale out into an airplane. Inhale, come back down. Okay, good job. Now we're gonna do our spine twist. So your, your arms are out in a T. And if, you're, if your um, head is to the left, you're gonna take your left leg and move it all the way over. Your hip's gonna follow, and that's okay. The idea is to keep your shoulders on the floor. 
So, and this is a 40 second. So arms out, leg up, shoulders, make sure they stay on the floor. The leg can do anything you want. It may not touch the floor on the other side, that's okay. Just wave up in the air, say, hey. Keep your shoulders on the floor. The hip will follow and that's okay too, the hip will lift. And bend your knee, rotate your ankle, flex and point. Okay, bring it back down. Good job. Other side. Your face is the other direction. Your right leg comes up, 40 seconds. And again, it can do whatever it wants. All right, bring it back down. Okay, go ahead and get into position for yoga nidra. Find yourself a comfortable position. Make sure you're warm enough. I don't think via Harvin or Caitlin, you'll have a problem with that. <laughs> Um, socks. Pardon me? I said, but I need socks. You need socks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, you might want to put a cloth over your eyes just so you can relax. I'm going to guide you to systematically move your attention through internal points as I mentioned them. Allow your awareness to flow to the points without moving any part of your body. Begin with your breath. Breathe in, breathe out. Observe your abdomen as it rises and falls with the gentle flow of your breath. Now bring your awareness to the center of your eyebrows, center of your throat, right shoulder, elbow, wrist, right thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, right wrist, elbow, shoulder, center of your throat, left shoulder, elbow, wrist, left thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, left wrist, elbow, shoulder, center of your throat, spiritual heart center, right side of your chest, heart center, left side of your chest, heart center, navel center, Center of your pelvis, right hip, knee, ankle, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, right ankle, knee, hip, center of your pelvis, left hip, knee, ankle, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, left ankle, knee, hip, center of your pelvis, navel center, heart center, 
center of your throat, center of your eyebrows. This concludes the 61 point guided meditation. Begin to slowly move, wiggle your fingers and your toes, rotate your wrists and your ankles, first one way and then the other. Begin to wake your body up. Hold your right knee to your chest. Hold your left knee to your chest. Hold both knees to your chest. Rock back and forth. Feel that massage on your lower back. When you're ready, go ahead and roll towards the camera using your lower arm as a pillow. And just pause there for a second to thank yourself and your cells for showing up today and doing this workout with me. And when you're ready, go ahead and come up to seated. Unmute yourself. I'm gonna switch my view to gallery so I can see all of you and remove my spotlight. Oops. Okay. Oops. I did it again. All right. Here we go. Okay. So, hands to your heart and prayer pose. Let's go ahead and apply some pressure. Feel our shoulders and then loosen it up. I want to thank you for sharing this experience with me today. And we are all lights in this world, but we are also all one light. So I want to acknowledge that. And we're going to end the class by saying to each other, Namaste. 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 Thank you. Right. Thank you, Kathy. Kathy. Welcome. Yeah. Bye.